Well, like I, I can see the resemblance. <laughs> I look better than Will Johnson. I would tell you better. Will. <laughs> <laughs> I you know. Hey, I've yeah. never seen them two on the same uh, camera at the same time. I've been on this panel well, a couple times. <laughs> well, Bryson, Bryson's got a conspiracy theory going on right now. What's going on, Mo? Hey, what's going on, old talent? You know, man? I wouldn't be surprised if, if like Will and Mo were the same person. It's just like a like a mask, and then he like goes down the stairs and puts on a wig. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, the, said, the difference between me and Will. Will the type of person that would like, hey, I'm gonna pray for him, I'm gonna pray you. I'm the type of person that get in your face, like, what a run up, fool. You know, I like, like that. I like that. I'm more like the guy, the, the gangster dude. Mm. <laughs> they call me Will Gangster Twin. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, okay. I see it. Now. I see what you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mo, how's, how's the year been so far for you, man? It's been good. You know, I brought in New Year, right? You know, um, uh, got get, got rid of all the trash, got drained the swamp out of my life. And mm -hmm. thing, things has been turned around in my life. Because last year, I was going through a whole lot of stuff, man. And I learned to let, 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 let a lot of stuff go and be more mindful and be more intellectual. And this year, I'm learning to be more intellectual, whether you are leftist or not. I'm learning to be more intellectual, not to be all, you know, maga maga all the time. But I'm mm -hmm. learning to be more intellectual. And that's what I learned. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to this year at, like specifically? I'm looking As aside, forward aside from Bryson Gray's album. Aside from that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to uh I'm actually looking forward to Trump winning again in 2020. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm looking forward to more black people walking away from the Democratic, you know, plantation, the Democratic Party, whatever you want we want to call it. And I'm looking for I'm looking for more blacks to wake up, the more inner city to wake up, to let them know that they don't love you. They just want your votes. They they hate you. That's why they abort your baby. And and that's all I'm trying to get them to do. You know, just, just get away from that madness. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of that. Um, what do you, what, like, what are your thoughts on like the Iran situation? I want to go back to that a little bit. I haven't, I don't think I talked to you about that. No. You know what? Like Trump said, I will bomb it out of them you know and i mean they, they can't be messing with our peoples man you know what i'm saying i don't like war I'm, I'm against war but what jesus said that i didn't come to bring peace i come to bring a daughter against that mother you know and this is this is ordained to happen the vibe will conquer and um uh, i mean this, this I, I believe stuff like this is going to uh bring americans together you know what well, should it should definitely it, it should because i know some people that don't even like trump say you know what i i hate trump f trump but I agree with what he just did. <laughs> Boom. Get him out of here. Yeah. We don't we don't negotiate with no terrorists. This is yeah. America. What are we talking yeah, like, about? <laughs> I'm like I'm seeing all these American people being like the Iranian people didn't deserve this attack. And then there's also some people who are encouraging Iran. Like I, I don't know where I saw, I don't know who said it, but there was like this journalist or this person on Twitter who who it was encouraging the Iranian government to attack the Mall of America. That's been happening a lot. Have you seen my on, on my Facebook? I see people all the time, like low key siding with Iran, acting like Trump started to beef with Iran. They forget we've been beefing with Iran for like over thirty years. This is not nothing new. No. <laughs> like they not our friends. <laughs> <laughs> people are crazy. Yeah, I I can't even begin to explain how how un-American people are starting to become simply for their strong and almost single minded hatred of our president. They're willing to they're willing to oppose him on anything. I've seen the meme going around where the president says, for my next trick, I will make the people defend Iran. And you think, oh, you think that's just a meme you can laugh at, but then it, it, it turns out he, he wasn't joking. They're defending Iran. Like, bro, pe people say Trump worse than Hitler on college campuses, bro. Come on now. Yeah, I, I mentioned that before, actually, too. There was that, that video of the person asking the people to arrange the pictures of the, the arrange the pictures, and it be, it'd be like, uh, like in the in the way of who's the worst, and so you uh -huh. have you have Stalin, you had Mao Zedong, you had uh, Hitler, and then you had Trump, and then you had Obama yep. on there as well. And Obama and would Jesus. always be and Jesus. <laughs> Most people would put Obama over Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah Big J, <laughs> Big J. <laughs> oh my oh, man. God. man, it's been uh, it's, it's been wild though. It's been wild, and uh, and I, I I've been amazed to see more people like your you uh. Uh, Bryson, you uh, Chandler, it's, it, to see more of the African community just have woken up, this, 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 the great awakening, it, it, it's inspiring. Yeah. And, and you young, you young, man, you 15, like, dang. <laughs> young, yeah. <laughs> the, the Bible said, let the children come hindered in the knot, you know, out of the mouth of babe. I'm just saying it right here, you know, and it's, that, that show you right there, that's hope for our future. Yeah. You know? 
I'm just like, wow. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of Great Awakening, uh, Maurice, are you going to be out there for that Second Amendment rally in Virginia? When is it? It's uh, January 20th or 19th. Or no, I'm going to make it. I got, I got a job. I can't make it all these events. It's, yeah. Yeah. Dude, man, I'm gonna make it. it's a Trump rally down up in uh, – in Milwaukee, where I'm at Milwaukee, you know, I'm from Chicago, but I live like, you know, close to Chicago, but I'm gonna be uh, at uh, Trump gonna be speaking out here, but I got tickets, but I'm not going in. I'm just gonna be out there the whole time with my microphone, just interviewing liberals out there doing the whole time. I, I've been to many Trump rallies and stuff, so I'm just gonna be out there talking. And it's so funny, right? Y'all gonna, gonna trip on this one. My son is um, 20, 21 years old. He's a liberal. He's a diehard burn supporter. And uh, he actually going to ride with me. He's going to go protest over there, and I'm going to be over here doing my thing. I said, dude, you know what, son? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, I'm like, hey, I ain't mad at you. You know? Yeah. You okay, yeah. I'll pick you up. No, be safe, son. Okay? <laughs> and that's what I said. You know? Because my son is very politically involved, too, but he's on the other side, and I'm over here. And <laughs> No it's amazing that you can like continue to respect and love your son, even though he has a completely different political views to you. Yeah, I had him on my panel a couple of times. Maybe I respect him and he's very intelligent and, you know, and he don't do, he don't agree with a lot of the liberals, how they come at Trump. He don't agree with that. You know, he don't follow, you know, them people blindly either. Like, I don't follow this, this, this right side blindly either. There's some stuff I'm going to call out if, if I see it ain't right. Yeah. You know? and, and, and that's what it, and that, that's what you supposed to do. Instead of be all like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I agree with it. No, 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 no. We, we, it's called being a free thinker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're a free thinker, you're going to call the other side out, too. You're going to call people that being rhinos over here. You're going to call it out, too. You know? Yeah. It's funny because my dad is a super liberal, so we like the opposite of you and your son. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know, I find it interesting, too, with your dad, because he alternates between, like, like being like close to like starting to support Trump and then he'll be like way off on the left and then like and then he'll be like somewhere in the middle where he's like respecting it's it's very weird. Listen, my dad just called me, so that's what makes it funny. But let me tell you something about my father. Let me tell you something right now. He oh, is man. close to being a Trump supporter. He had, he has so many moments you're like, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, this is good what he's doing, but my dad, he is not gonna ever say that he is a Trump supporter, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm a Trump supporter, <laughs> and, he, yep. and he just wants to be the opposite of oh, what I am. <laughs> one of those against the grain, huh? against yeah. the. Hey, listen, we went, <laughs> we we was on Owen Stroyer, uh show, uh, the War Room <laughs> on Infowars, and my daddy pulled out a red hat and instead of a Trump hat. It was a Hillary 2020 hat, and I'm like, man, come <laughs> on. <laughs> All right, so I have a question for both of you before I let y'all go. Uh, Who hold on, real quick, real quick, my daddy just texted me and said this oh, show boy. is pretty good. Talk about this show right now that you're doing. He said it's pretty oh, good. No. He said, but I'm getting nauseous. I need to go grab my Hillary hat. Hey, your dad is <laughs> on, my, on my panel sometimes. Hey, hey on my panel sometimes. He watching? Uh, my dad is about, watching. He's, he's watching. about to be texting you real soon. He's about to be like, <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so real quick before I let you both go. Bryson, you first. Who do you think is going to be the Democratic nominee in 2020? Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. Any any uh, explanation or backup for that? Because uh, even though a lot of Bernie Sanders supporters uh, previously, which I was, left for Trump after they realized how crazy the old man was, mm -hmm. um, there's still a lot of there's still a lot of people left that's still fighting hard for Bernie Sanders, and a lot of them don't even know what socialism is, but they're just going with it because Bernie Sanders says so. And um, mm -hmm. I think he has more of a base than Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren doesn't have a real base. It doesn't seem yeah. like mm -hmm. it's like it's like fabricated. They just tell you she has a base, and there you go. <laughs> I've never seen nobody with a Hillary hat on in my life. <laughs> so, oh, I mean, not a Hillary hat, but a Elizabeth Warren hat. Never seen that. So I think Bernie gonna win. And what about you, Mo? He gonna win. It's, it's automatic, man. It's, it, it's it's all common sense. He's gonna win. I mean, well, I yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I mean, you guys are both wearing the hats. I've got the American flag up. It's obvious who I support. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, Bernie but the, is going no, to um, be, be be the front runner to uh, President Donald J. Trump. So you you think you're gonna see Bernie against Trump on the debate stage? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Do you think that would be a fun debate to watch? Because it doesn't sound like one, a fun one to me. Oh, he's going to make Bernie cry. Yeah, cry. I can't wait. He's going to make that dude cry. Oh, my God. I can't wait. <laughs> he's going to be like, free cotton. So what do you mean? He's going to be all looking at him like, this is, I'm telling you, this gonna, I'm, I'm going to get my popcorn ready over there. <laughs> what? I can't wait for that. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> yep. And I will be at the Democrat convention in Milwaukee. I will, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go there to get thrown out. You will see me all the while. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go there. I, I live like about... Literally like 12 blocks from there. So I oh, will be Lord. there. 
I promise you that. And I'm going to go down there and start yelling. They're going to throw me out <laughs> before they're live streaming. You have to. We have to. I want to see them throw you out. And then I just want to see the amount of protesters you're going to have around you. Just like, arr, arr, you're racist, mega man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, 2020 crazy already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, Mo, Mo, I didn't get to ask you, what are your plans for 2020? I mean, you've already said something about that. And one last before you go, like, what are your plans? My plans is to just go ahead and just be more more active than I ever been. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be more active. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna hit the inner cities more. That's that's what I've been doing. I've been hitting the ghetto. Like I hit up Inglewood, Chicago, the worst neighborhood in Chicago. I've been walking around in these black neighborhoods with my mama hat. I'm gonna hit more of the inner cities. That's my goal. Is to reach the black community right there. You know, they can say I'm people say I'm cooning, but I love the black community, and I'm gonna show people how. This is what you do. This is how you go ahead and make America great again. This is how you. This is what you do to keep America great. So my goal is to more reach out more out to the inner city more, more to the black community. And we can't be scared to go inside that jungle. If you're scared to go inside that jungle, you ain't gonna change nothing. You've already lost. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yes, sir. (laughs) I like it. Yeah, well, thank you both so much for joining me today. I definitely want to have you on next time, Bryson. I will be I will be bumping that album at twelve a.m. when you drop it on <laughs> yes. on January twentieth, something. Whenever you do it, yes, sir. I will be bumping it. I cannot wait for that. And Bryson, I got to contact you. I want you on my panel, man. You, 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 Let's do it. you know, I'll be having different people on my panel all the mm-hmm. time. Man. Hey, I, hey, that's my favorite thing to do is to like, <laughs> like, bet, like deal with all types types of people. They be all it. yelling and screaming on my channel. Like, oh, I got my one at a time, everybody. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up. Yeah. The language is rough, so I'm not warning you. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right, bro. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Thank you both so much for joining me. I'll catch you next time. Thank you for, ha- thank you for having me yeah. on, man. Yep. The video you just watched was a highlight from a live stream. Don't want to miss the next one? Make sure you're subscribed and you've hit that notification bell. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to be notified every time I live stream.